Aloha and welcome everyone to, from the National Weather Service to Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today we're going to be talking about tropical cyclone hazards. In the Central Pacific, we have three main tropical cyclone hazards we need to worry about. We call it the triple threat. High winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surge. This map here on the right shows all of the storm tracks for tropical cyclones from 1940 through 2010. The three purple lines here highlight the three landfalling hurricanes in Dot, Eva, and Iniki. Tropical cyclones don't have to make a direct hit to have devastating impacts on your area. See, all these storms that came in from the east brought major impacts to the state. The first threat is high winds. Hurricane Iniki produced winds of over 140 miles an hour. Tropical cyclone winds can last for hours. And remember, wind gusts can be much higher than the sustained winds. Once wind enters your home, it will force its way out through walls, windows, and even the roof. Take a look what happens to this structure during Hurricane Iniki. As you can see, this home had a well-built roof, but it did not attach very well to the home. The next threat is heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall can quickly overwhelm drainage systems and stream beds. Because of Hawaii's steeply cut terrain, this is enhanced across the islands. Rainfall rates of more than four inches per hour are possible for many hours during a tropical cyclone. Remember, never drive your car or walk across a flooded roadway. Turn around, don't drown. Take a look at this video of what happens when a car tries to make its way across a flooded road. As you can see, they don't make it. It takes only about one foot of flowing water to move just about any vehicle. The last threat is storm surge wind and pressure driven inundation by ocean water. This is when the wind from a hurricane pushes the water onto the land when the wind faces towards the land. Now potential for long-term inundation is possible. This isn't just water moving in and moving out quickly. This water could stay sloshing around for many hours. Remember the power of water can be absolutely devastating. This image here in the top left of the screen shows the debris line. I'm tracing it here with my mouse showing you how far debris from the storm surge was pushed inland when Aniki made landfall on the south portion of Kauai. This image here in the bottom center of the screen is showing the storm surge roaring ashore on the Waianae coast of Oahu. Please remember to get prepared each and every season for these triple threats as tropical cyclones are possible throughout the year in the Central Pacific.